I'm going to show you something else that's quite useful when you're debugging. Let's pick on this animation activity 002. If we look at the code, there's something else that can help save your sanity. You can use log statements to trace where your code is. And I've put a statement in the non create, in the on pause, in the on resume, and it's in this format. I've named the class, and I've put a message to say it's in the on resume method. So you can trace the activity lifecycle, and here's the on pause. There's one other action you might like to have on back button pressed. This is what it looks like. So I've also put a log in this method just to say back button pressed. Well, let's take a look and see how all of this works. Here's our application, and here's the 002 activity. And we can minimize it, we can return to it can exit it, we can enter back in, we can back button out of it, exit it, and close it. And here's what I want to show you. If you look down here in the logs, you can see that we've got all of our debugging. So here's our on pause method being called, and here's the back button press being method called. And you'll, you'll have the same for all of the methods. So when you're tracing your code and you're not having any luck, put a few of these log messages in there and you'll be able to see what's going on. And I'll just leave this up here, the on back pressed detection method. Thanks for watching.